Hello, um, so, sorry it's been a while, um, I've been kind of busy, uh, this is, uh, I guess, yeah, here's the next, the uh, mouth, please work. Here's the next recap for d d The Tale of the Food Group, uh, my only d d campaign so far. Um, you may notice that the camera angle is a bit different, um, I believe it or not, I've been cleaning my room, so my desk is clear, is, is more, is, my desk is pretty clear now. Um, me and my dad made a deal, he's, he's gonna give me the spare Xbox One if I clean my room. I'm kinda close to done, so any, anyway, uh, back to D&D, um, uh, so... It'll remind you of our cast of characters. Um, there's Rathma, the Black Dragonborn, um, Sorcerer Warlock, Dilborth, the Dwarf um, Cleric Druid, Faku, the Griffin Druid Sorcerer, I believe, um, Raven. The, um, eh, sea elf, um, eh, blah, blah. sorcerer, yeah, cleric, I think it was. Yeah, he just, multi yeah, cleric. And Hagnar, the kobold rogue, who I think I'm actually going to remove soon because he's, 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 I'm not really using him. <clears throat> anyway, so, <clears throat> started out. They were going into the dark, spooky forest. They came across a cat. It was just there. He's gonna. He's not gonna be important for the campaign, but he's gonna appear a bunch. And I'm not gonna tell my. And I'm. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Is um okay sure, I'll tell you guys my name. It its name his name, the cat's name, um. When, uh, but, but I'm not going to tell my party yet. You know, the, the party, yet. um, the cat's name is, um, I told, and I totally didn't steal this from the internet at all. And it's, keep in mind, this is just a perfectly normal cat. He's orange. It's just a regular orange cat. There's nothing special about him. Dave, the magical cheese wizard. That's his name. Yep. Pretty normal cat name. Um... So, and then, they came across a wood elf, who Raven tried to riz up, but I, I, and he failed, in, and then, um, Rathma successfully rizzed up. Um, I'm not gonna say the, what, I'm not, I'm not gonna repeat what they said, because this is a family-friendly channel. But what Rathma said, F you, that's literally <laughs> what he said. So, she, I don't think I gave her a name, you know, the wood elf, um, <clears throat> she told them that the elder tree was like, it had a bunch of edder caps, and now, without the elder tree tree's presence, the forest is turning, okay, the elder tree, it keeps evil out of the, the forest of North Deepwood. So then they need to go. There's edder caps around the elder tree. You know, edder caps, spider people. Um, I'll just look over a picture. Uh, so then with the edder cap web surrounding the tree, its magic can't work. So... Evil is getting into the forest, which is bad. Here's an edder cap. <clears throat> um, edder cap. Spider person. They're cool. I like them. Um, so then they, 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 they went toward the, the tree. On the way there, they found two displacer beasts. You probably know what a Displacer Beast is, because one of them was seen in the Dungeons & Dragons movie. They're also pretty popular. 
But I'm gonna show um, a picture just in case. Uh, oh, and coincidentally, it's on the page I just opened. Okay, that's that's nice. Display Sir Beast. So I came across two of them. And then Rathma started talking to one of them. Um, the the one of them is talking to his name was Edward, and he was his, a friend from high school. So I gave him some cooking advice. Um, two of what I remember is a uh, first. Um, what was it? When making a sandwich, do not use two thousand pounds of concrete. This is because concrete will hurt your teeth. Use bread instead. I know it's really helpful cooking advice. And then the other one I remember is um, when baking a cake, do not use thirty gallons of paint. This is because paint is toxic. Use sugar instead. So that was their interaction with the displacer beasts. Then they made it to the um, the elder tree. It's surrounded by edder caps. There's big spider. They fought the spiders. Um, and because Rathma, his leg was sort of, he cut off last ses last session. Um. You know, such, yeah, blah. last episode. That's what I should be saying instead. Okay, last episode. You know, he sort of cut off his leg because it was caught in a bear trap. He was gifted his leg back. I also forgot to mention that at the very beginning of this session, he picked up an interesting, uh, well, not, an, he picked up a rock. It's magic and very powerful. I'm not going to tell you what it does. I'll, I'll tell you, maybe, um, I'll tell you maybe if, like, when it gets used or something, but I'm not going to tell you what it does. It's hilarious, and I love it. Oh my gosh, I really want to, I really want to reveal it, but I also don't. I'm not going to reveal it. It's really good, though, and it's absolutely hilarious. Um, so, yeah, okay, back to the... Yeah, they fought the Edder Caps. He got sort of a tree leg. His leg was is, is now a, a tree. It, he has a wooden leg, except I'm going to say he can fully control it. Um, it does give him a vulnerability to fire, but also a, um, I'm going to say resistance to cold. Because that sounds fair. And, uh, and, and poison damage. It gives him resistant cold and poison damage. But he's vulnerable to fire. And he can catch on fire. So that's not good. <laughs> so it's it's sort of sort of balanced. Kind of. Um, so then they, they journeyed through the forest. And that's sort of where we left off. That was a shorter recap, but um, there was a lot of out-of-campaign conversation happening. I'm going to try to have less of that happen. Um, and I, oh wait, okay, I remember at one point Rathma went to the moon. I don't remember what, why, but like, yeah, anyway, um... Um, like, subscribe, that's the end of the video, like, subscribe, have a good day, comment, I guess, um, bye, we're really close to 70 subs, that'd be great if we could reach that.